Hello people and welcome to Crypto Exposed. Stop investing in XRP as it has a slim future, crypto founder says. Okay guys, let's get into it. So, um, this guy uh, in question, his name's Jake, I can't remember his surname to be honest with you, but um, yeah, he's basically saying to stop investing in XRP, um, he's saying that it has a slim future. So let's get into it then, let's have the conversation. Now I've read the article and um, I, I wanted to see why he's saying it has a slim future because you know, look, I I'm always welcome to hear people's uh, logic and reasoning because look, if you can say something to me that I'm not aware of or something that may make me change my mind, hey, I may agree with you. I'm, I'm always open-minded. Like I think this is the problem. When you're just close-minded, you're not open to hearing what can sometimes be logic and reason, right? And that's why, for example, with like the $10,000 stuff, I don't believe in that. But I'm always saying I'm willing to be proven wrong, but you know, many people I've debated with up until now have not been able to sway my opinion. And every time I've given my reasons to why I've yet to say anything that's, you know, debunked whatever I've said. But anyway, um, I digress. Yeah, we've, we've got this guy saying it has a slim future. When, when I've looked through this article, all he's saying is price, 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 price. Now, this is my thing. When you're only basing it on price, I think that's, it's pretty much a weak argument. It's actually a silly argument, to be honest with you, because price isn't really indicative of the value of a crypto, because let's just go, for example, with meme coins, right? You can look at many meme coins that have, you know, made phenomenal money, right? Like Pepe, for example. What does Pepe do, right? Dogecoin. What does Dogecoin do? It was actually created as a joke. So do these cryptos say like, you know, do these cryptos have a bright future ahead of them just because they're valuable, just because they've got, you know, a market cap and have made people money? Well, no, of course not, because they don't do anything, right? So this is where my argument comes with this. It's very weak to just base it on um, just money alone, just on price action. Now, you know, one of the things that he's saying is like he showed you um, like a chart and he was showing you all like the top 10 cryptocurrencies and a lot of them were like 30% up while XRP was only like 5% up, right? And he basically said, you know, if you like XRP, you just like being poor. Now, look, in terms of like treating the price action at the moment, yeah, look, I'm not going to shy away from this. It's not been great. Like, I'm not here to sugarcoat it whatsoever. I definitely acknowledge that. However, my thing is this. I hold 20 different cryptos and I've not got one crypto yet that has taken off to a point where I can say, oh, you know, this has been an alt season rally and I've made significant money where I've sold. I still hold all the cryptos that I held, um, you know, from like a year ago. So nothing has changed for me yet. Yes, I've seen a bit of price action, but nothing significant. So a lot of the market is in the same position. Now, this is the thing for me as well. Like when you get into talking about price action, you know, like, one of the things that we've seen is that obviously Solana has a very, you know, it's had a very impressive run, right? And I, I completely acknowledge that. But I just want to tell you something that I've heard. Now, I, I do not know if this is true. So please don't take this as me saying this is a fact. And I'm not some like insider or anything like that. So this is an information that I'm getting from like, you know, these big, you know, executives or anything. This is just literally something I heard on a, I think it was a previous YouTube video, if I'm thinking rightly. But I was hearing that, um, Solana, the reason why it's been pumping is because VCs have been getting involved and have been wanting to try and pump up the price to make it more attractive. Now, I do not know how true that is. So please don't take that as a literal, you know, comment because I, I really don't know for sure. But let's just say that is true. Well, that obviously explains that the run that it has had. And my, my other thing is this, right? I've heard with Solana that it has a lot of outage problems. Like I've heard on many occasions that, you know, Solana goes down and, you know, it really does have issues with scaling. So again, like if you're just going by price, you can say, oh yeah, Solana, Solana. But from the technical aspect, from what I'm aware of, Solana's not, it's not great in terms of its capabilities. Like it's quite limited. And, and so again, this is why I'm just saying like, I don't think you should be just taking something from a price action aspect, right? Like from what I'm aware, XRP's never had like a failure. It's never gone down or anything like that. It's never had those kind of issues.
But the price of XRP, as we can tell, is not reflected like it would have Solana, right? And, you know, when we're just looking at cryptos that have just got value, like, like again, even if we go with Ethereum, you know, for us as XRP holders, we know about ETH gates. We've seen what basically happened for ETH to get the opportunity that it did. It was pay to play. So we, we can see how this has all come about. It's not really been fair. If anything, XRP has had, you know, an absolutely unfair takedown. Like, you know, it's been tried to have been silenced, basically taken out. So to me, when you like using this kind of thing of just saying, oh, it's trash and because of the price. It's like, no, like give us an actual constructive, a constructive criticism. Otherwise, just saying it's trash or just saying that the price is low, it's a very weak argument. I'm not willing to accept that, you know? Now, you know, I've said this recently and I will say it again and I will continue to say, it. if we have this bull run, because I'm not 100% sure if we are in a bull run anymore, but I'm hearing that we are. If we are still in a bull run and we have an alt season rally and every crypto... Not, not every crypto, because not all cryptos do surpass all time highs. Some, some don't. But let's say all the big top 10 cryptos have a new all time high and there's other cryptos that do. Like, you know, we have a, a proper alt season. We can tell it's an alt season. And let's say it ends and we go into a bear market. If XRP doesn't reach a new all time high or it's really poor, then make no mistake, I will definitely be having a conversation at that point. So, I, I, you know, I'm not here to be like a cheerleader or anything like that. 100%, if it doesn't perform, at that point, yes, we've got to have a conversation. We've got to have a very serious talk. But at this point right now, I just think it's way too early to be to be saying this, right? And so, you know, even when you start looking at other cryptos, like, for example, again, let's just go to Solana because that's the one that's the talk of the town because of the way it's performed. This is my thing, right? Let's say you're in XRP now and they say, well, you know, get into a different crypto. Why would you go into Solana now after it's had such a massive run already? Because logic would make it seem that we don't know really how much further Solana has got to go, right? We don't really know if Solana is going to pump anymore because it's already had such a big run. So my thing is this, like you can say like, oh, go into these other cryptos that have had like these 30% pumps, but like to me, what I would be thinking is, well, XRP hasn't had a run yet. So I'm going to wait for XRP to have the run, right? Rather than getting into like Ethereum, Bitcoin or Solana that's already had a massive pump because they've already had a pump. So how much further are they going to go? Now, don't get me wrong. Who knows? They could go way higher. They could go even higher than what we'd expect and still keep going. But we don't know that, right? We don't know. And generally, you know, the way you're told to invest in is don't buy green candles, right? Like you want to get the cryptos or, you know, even stocks. You want to get something while it's low because that's when you've got the more upside potential, right? You get it before it's had a pump. XRP hasn't had a pump yet. So logic would make you think get an XRP now. So when it has its pump, you, you know, you've got in right at the lower end rather than Solana, for example, that's already pumped however much so far. Like what if it's only got an extra 5% to go now? Do you see what I'm saying? Now, again, I could be wrong. It could go another 50 to 100%. I don't know. But I'm just saying logically, because it's already pumped so much, you would think that it's not going to have that much more to give. So we will see. But again, my whole argument with this, to say stop investing in XRP as it has a slim future, but you've not actually provided any actual, um, you know, any points to actually back up what you're saying other than the price is bad. It's just a weak argument. It really is. So in my opinion, you know, let's wait until after this ball run. And as I say, even if like that happens, right, let's say XRP doesn't perform and, you know, we have to have that conversation. If I ever like do have to speak about XRP, I'll be giving reasons. Like I'm not just going to say, oh, the price is bad. So clearly it's a scam. No, I'm not going to say anything like that. I would actually get points and evidence to say, well, is this why it didn't perform? Is this why it didn't perform? And we try and make logical conclusions, right? So this is just someone who clearly just doesn't like XRP. And yes, in terms of the price, yeah, okay, I'll give you that. Like, I'm not about to, you know, defend that in terms of the price action. It's, it's been pretty poor up to this point, but we're not in the alt season yet. So we're still waiting to see what's going to happen. So, we, you know, we've got to see that before we really get into these kind of conversations. So to me, this is really premature and it's just the signs of someone who just doesn't like XRP. So they're just saying whatever they can to, to try and put it down. So I'm not paying this no mind. In my opinion, XRP still looks like a good investment because when we look at the fundamentals, uh, Ripple are bringing out the stable coin. 
Um, there's new partnerships that are coming on. They're still continuing to do ODL. You know, um, there's still things coming in terms of like different developments like RWA tokenization. So there's many things to still be, you know, excited about in terms of XRP. So I'm not about to give up on it just yet. Like we'll, we'll see what happens, but you know, like, to me, as I said earlier, if you're going to kind of make this kind of argument, just present some facts, you know, just try and back it up with something. Otherwise, it's not really worth um, even giving it any time of day. But what do you guys think? XRP has a slim future. Let me know your thoughts, guys. I'd be interested to hear. Thank you very much for watching this. If you did like it, please remember to drop a comment, like, and subscribe but until next time take care